Are you an introvert or a shy person? If you are, it is a qualification and not a disability as is perceived generally. The disability comes when you start branding your introverted nature as being low on confidence. I will talk about it today in a few seconds, but let me first request you to subscribe to this channel and also press the bell button for notifications about new videos. Also do let me know if you, you know, want me to speak about any specific issue or topic of interest. I would definitely make an honest endeavor to share my views and opinion about those. Well, introverts have many precious talents and natural capabilities. You just need to learn the skills to use your natural gift of being an introvert to your advantage. You can succeed immensely both in your social as well as professional life. I will today tell you about this skill set to overcome the misunderstood fear on being branded as an introvert or a person with low on confidence. I'm no psychological person in terms of profession. I'm not a psychologist or a counselor. But in the last three decades, I have managed a number of people who met me with this tag of being low on confidence, but eventually grew to become the most successful people in their respective fields. Firstly, you must remember that you are not discarded or trash material. Write down a few pages or points about all the activities you have done or you have been doing. These could be as simple as gardening, taking your relative to the hospital to show a doctor or feeding the birds, writing poetry or short stories, singing, playing music, anything. When somebody asks you about yourself or what you like doing, you would have remembered immediately what you had written in the diary. And that will get you talking immediately. Your qualities are unique and can be gathered from your day-to-day -day activities. Secondly, I know that introvert people are very humble and undersell themselves, undermarket themselves or downplay their accomplishments. That is, that is a rare quality of modesty and humility in today's time. There is nothing wrong with it. However, always remember to share your storyline of any events of which you were part of as a team member, no matter how small your role was. Let it be a narration and not a pretentious or pompous statement. Remember this trick because recruiters, when you are appearing for interviews, like people who are simple in their statements with no adjectives to it. Thirdly, a shy person is not hesitant if asked to express when he or she is alone. They are highly creative people. Hence, you must share your creative thoughts, views, opinions, graphics, audio and visual creations unilaterally and in a, even in a monologue form to begin with. This can be done on any platform of social media, be it Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, etc. You may choose to not to engage in any dialogues to begin with. There are features in these social media apps where you can restrict people to comment on your posts. But eventually you may engage in dialogues, discussions and debates. Fourthly, I have noticed introverts are not casual and are very organized, but that causes anxiety in them. And you know, they, they walk into toilets, washrooms and drink plenty of water before walking into, you know, any social or professional meetings. And, and they do love their corners. The secret of overcoming this spate of anxiety and fear lies in fantasizing a fiction 
where you are the chief of the meeting. And just imagine that you are a person of few words because you are the boss. You have fantasized that. Imagine that. The boss always asks few questions and seeks information. Start a conversation by seeking information and answers to your little questions. These could well be rehearsed in advance of the meeting. Once you get into a conversation flow, you will not even realize as to when you moved on to the natural course of talk and discussion. So basically, you need to be in abstraction to begin with. Be a dreamer. This will enhance the confidence of your body language. Finally, as an introvert, you, you may not be too inclined to receiving the compliments as, as, as you may underestimate yourself or perhaps you are modest, you know, personality. But that, that should not stop you from complimenting others, even without any valid reason for that matter. The people who compliment generously are the most likable people on earth. Introverts, introverts are likable. 